Ray Zero cut a Hajimeto Isekai Sekatsu Season 2 is licensed and produced by Crunchyroll, Studio, White Fox, Networks, TV Tokyo, TVO, TVA, and ATX. Based on the works by Tapei Nakatsuki. Please support the official release. Hello to YouTube, Jack here with more Ray Zero Season 2, Episode 7 or Episode 32 in total. Last time, we left off with, well, Elsa basically trashy the mansion, killing everyone except Subaru and just about to kill Rem when Subaru steps in. Doing the heroic self-sacrifice, even though he knows it's like kind of, kind of a mood point. You know, I like, I like this about the show because, like, yeah, he's gonna die. He knows that. Also knows that. And then technically, Rem would die, or perhaps like not if the timeline gets erased. Whenever we'll actually, question the inner workings of the return by death thing. But let's ignore that for now because that's a, a rabbit hole we don't want to go down. The point is, Subaru knows that, in a certain sense, Ren, Rem's death would be erased as soon as he dies. Whether he dies first or after doesn't quite matter, but in the same vein, I like about the show the fact that every timeline has weight to it. We very rarely have the feeling that he is abandoning it. Like, in all the show, he's committed suicide twice. And even then it was to purposefully reset to save someone, even though he himself got away for once. Like, after after fighting so hard to survive, he finally did, and then someone else dies. So they're like, nope, unacceptable, gotta redo that. And when you compare this to other shows that do the time loopy thingy, like, it just gets a lot more easygoing with the deaths, or like, abandoning a timeline at some point. They're like just, yep, okay, no, we screwed up, time to reset, and you, you just don't have that feeling here. Like, if he stands in front of Elsa and basically, like, still defends Ram to the death, that he cares, you know? Even if in a broader picture you say it doesn't matter, he cares, and I like that. Perhaps not the most reasonable approach, but the emotional one. That's nice. Except Beatrice stepped in and saved him anyway, so... Do we get information? I, I I wouldn't even mind an information dump episode right now. Fully honest with you, fully transparent. <laughs> because, yeah, uh, he barged in the door, wound up in the library, door closed, so... Well, Rem's dead. As we said, it's kind of like a moot point, but... Emotionally heavy. Plus, he got, he got like, the from Roswell, I think in the previous loop, something to say to her, unless I got that super, super wrong right now. So, that's gonna be fun. Also, I'm actually on a tight, like, time limit here, so I really should get the episode started. Let's get into this. In the three, two, one, go. That was horribly mistimed. Ow! Oh yeah, you're kind of also bleeding all over. That's one way to spell it out. Which of course leaves the question... Why didn't you bother helping? Yeah, but not him either. Oh yeah. He never knows like when this when it's final. But damn, he's hitting her hard there, isn't he? Hmm. 
But why is the question? And again, he hesitated too. And of course, no opening, because who's got time for that? You sure are whimsical, though. Oh, this is all over the place. God, I love the music! There is so much to unpack here. <laughs> oh wow, you found your way in. Hi. She's gonna sit there and die? Well, that was a bunch of half answers that didn't exactly help us much at all, but just leave us with so many more questions. Why are you gonna do this to me? It was, still was amazing though, so there's that. Truth be told, I never even considered that possibility, like that, that a, ba a bad timeline would ever get saved. Well, at least this time he isn't going to say anything to screw himself over. Even though it's kind of hilariously unfair, it's like it's been set up previously anyway. <laughs> but again, knowledge has been gained here. Specifically that uh, Federica isn't, you know, Working for the enemy. Yeah, not a scratch on him.
Now all of the observations here. <laughs> you know, a lot of unspeakable things happen. Literally unspeakable. Kind of got to crush his heart out of us. <laughs> no, be like different every time. <laughs> Work clown makeup. <laughs> Okay, then. Yeah, it's kind of going to be frustrating, isn't it? But she left. Yeah. I kind of thought that he got in afterwards, but never mind. So did she pass the trials? Like, Ekidna told Subaru to, you know, not tell anyone about anything. And she kind of erased his memories anyway, so kind of moot point, but still. And the one in white. Yeah. It's also like the kind of place where you can hide a body, but oh well. Like, we've been over this. Multiple variations. I mean, it kind of feels like... The what now? What the? Yeah, please. Okay. Got it. anything to do with the crystal thingies they've got? Okay. Fair enough. Mm. 
That you did. German one. So that's one answer down. So a spot for him too. Understandably to somewhat. Hmm. Oh, please. So what's the plan now? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, kind of impressive, the thing that you just don't want up not telling anyone about. <laughs> oh, what now? <laughs> Well, things just go all kinds of wrong now, don't they? So now he got kidnapped. I mean, that's fear. Why would you listen to them? <laughs> Oh, that! We've legit forgot all about that. No, legitimately, I I completely forgot all about that. Well, not like he can sense or smell it or whatever. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Well, that certainly explains a lot of the, like, unusual developments. And I'm digging it. Well, they're just looking all over. That's fair, honestly. <laughs> oh, poor Amelia. Been left by everyone. Uh. 
And what's that now? Like, ju just money because he's a merchant or whatever? Yeah, for real. I mean, come on, did it really come across like that? Ooh, we see things. Well, looks like a door, but... Better than the empty nothingness of just a floor. What now? My, you sure are considerate now, aren't you? Yeah. Man, it has to be hella frustrating, like, to go th through all that and then just basically be taken out by a piece of rope like that. Because right now he can't even die, so... Indeed, how did you get here? Yay! <laughs> well, damn, so... Yeah, it's too late already. Well, at least we know she cares. I mean, we already did, but still, it's nice. Yeah, but that didn't work out, did it? So, you know, kind of had to play along. No, I think he accepted it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, look out for yourself, dude. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Indeed! That's the biggest question now, isn't it? 
Why are you so helpful? Well, you pushed him off a cart before, so... <laughs> I just caught him so off guard he can't even process it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he, he just can't with all this. <laughs> That's just cruel. <laughs> so long as it's been since he had a full heartfelt laugh like that. <laughs> Yeah, but you've been, like, kind of making a lot of noise now. Just saying, friend! But hey, we get the ending again! <laughs> Let's just level alternate with the opening and ending of which, which one we get. I've not yet noticed that nice color shift from rem to from rom to rem, actually. I mean I've seen it like once, so fair, but still. Nice. Also I think she just had tears in her eyes. Also, I know that the Ram and Ram have different hairstyles, so even if you like shift the color, it doesn't—it doesn't just immediately fix that. But still, oh, what now? Of course, that's not the end. Ooh, the dragon. The ground for I'm in. Nope, never mind. It's rum. Okay. <laughs> That's nice too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we got we got some answers, but I feel like even more questions now. <laughs> Ain't that a typical? <laughs> oh god damn it. So the simplest one first, how come Garfield treats him different? Well, he smells like a freaking witch again, because he returned by death. <laughs> and I so forgot about the plotline, and it's even been so prevalent before, like he used it multiple times against the, the white whale and and all that, so and it, it's even like this is, we've been in the situation before with Rem and all that, so it's great. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Like, of course, you're gonna be super suspicious of a person who just who smells so extremely like witch cold. It's pretty much got got it written on his forehead. Like, 
wanting so desperately to be part of the witch trial. It's like, no. No, how about, how about just no? <laughs> how about we, we, we just put you away for safekeeping? So yeah, that was fun. But the meat of the issue... Well, the meat of the episode is kind of like being friends, but... The bigger question being the whole battery stuff at the beginning, ain't it? Uh, so yeah, for one, she's putting up a tough front, isn't she? The whole, I did it because I had to, because it was written in the gospel, even though you didn't have a gospel before, or did she? I mean, there was one that Subaru brought her from Battle Geese, but did she have her own? I mean, it could be. But well. Yeah, he had to previously convince Beatrice to save him, you know, in the, the timeline where he survived, uh, by just hiding in the library. Basically, making him, making her his bodyguard. So, just having her save him doesn't seem to be the full cause here. Plus, she kind of just let him die to Elsa. Like, she literally just walked in and killed him, so... There's that, too. And I said it before, but it, it is so odd somehow seeing her in, like, bright daylight. Well, it's not necessarily daylight, but in a brightly lit room. Or scene, I suppose. <laughs> so, there's that. But yeah, so I suppose Beatrice has a bit of a trauma regarding humans. I mean, that leaves it. She is kind of hiding in the library like all the time. Plus, again, the question is, did she smell the witch's scent on him too? Is that why she helped him out ever in the first place? Because she thought him a comrade? Like, I don't, I don't see her as being with the witch cult by any means. There are a lot of questions around here. Why didn't she help, like, ever in any timeline? Why only help him? Why the whole attachment to the gospel? She said mother, like, literally the witch's daughter? I kind of don't think so. Because that'd be, like, well, a bit of a lame twist, to be honest. But yeah, she probably isn't human. That much was sort of a given already, given her eyes. How odd they look, but... There's so much! So much, it's... Uh -huh. So yeah, he's been uh, stuck in the, the basement for three days. Which kind of means that Elsa already arrived. Probably killed everyone at the mansion. Although on that note... Like, she had a pretty big fight with Frederica last time, but the mansion was like perfectly fine. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary when he, when he showed up before. So... Well, I mean, she is an assassin, so... Chances are she doesn't really necessarily pick a fight. But she's also a huge sadist who likes to, like, literally pick people apart while fighting, so... <clears throat> Could be either way. My point being, though, like, this, is, this timeline's kind of a goner. I like the spirit at the beginning, too. I, I just think that I... You know, I'm so often viewing this through the lens of, well... A viewer. A watcher. I, I, I'm... I know things uh, because we have, the, we have the ultimate safe device. We have to return by death. If nothing else fails, just rewind time, do it again. And even if we have bad things like, you know, uh, Rem having her persona memories eaten or whatever, like that that has been set in stone because the safe point updated. I, I still have this sort of mentality that it's going to be fine no matter what. And Subaru doesn't have that. He isn't the main character of his story, he's gonna be fine no matter what. He's a dude with a very unreliable power at the best of times. So, obviously he'd be very concerned with a safe point being overwritten. Why wouldn't he? Like, it, it, it's not like he gets a jingle message like, your safe point's been updated, no. And I, like, n not even throughout season one because it's... I don't know, even though it could have happened there as well, like, if you're being really pessimistic, thinking about it, or just realistic, I suppose, not as a main character protagonist. Who knows when when your, few, when your time is going to be set in stone, and even dying is not going to be able to reset it. Like, I've, I've hyped so much that, the, that it's an unreliable power that you don't just repeat the same time loop over and over again, we get new stuff that we learn and try different things and then fail in different ways and all that, and I love it so much, but not once, and I see this as a huge failing on my end, 
Have I ever thought about the, the whole fact that his progress could be saved at any time? Because, again, I'm, I, I'm not expecting it to. Because then we would lose our ultimate fix-it tool. But why would Subaru not be concerned? Obviously he would be. It just makes sense for him to be. So yeah, I love that. And still, like, even if the timeline, like, this this, this timeline is kind of screwed already because he's too late to save them at the mansion, we can still basically, like, at least, like, confront Beatrice. If, like... Again, she, Elsa doesn't really know about Beatrice, does she? She got the information of two maids and a, and a shot-in, actually. Last time I said it was Subaru, but it could have been Beatrice, too. Fit her, fits her better, actually. Like, in, th in this world, Subaru hasn't really been that much of a shot-in, so... Yeah. Fits her way better. Plus, whoever gave her the, the... Like, whoever contracted her wouldn't have known that Subaru returned anyway. So chances are he just kind of showed up the last time when she was already there. And, like... Super bad timing. But no, Beatrice actually is a target in that case. Because I, just, I was just kind of on this whole track about how Elsa wouldn't know she's there or how to even get to her unless she tried every door. But, yes. But why would you target her? Or why even the mansion in the first place? So many questions. So little answers. I can't stand as I've got to wait another week for answers. <laughs> Not even answers, just for the next episode. Who knows if I've got any answers out of it. Gotta love this show, it's amazing. Have to build for now. Until next time, see you then. Bye.